Fed USA. Hey, what's going on, YouTube? This is Mike here from Fed USA Gaming. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the Marvel Legends 80th Year Anniversary uh, Colossus Juggernaut Collection Set. Uh, these two figures look great, but before we hop in, let's take a closer look at the box here. Uh, we can see on the back we got a Juggernaut in this comic. We got Colossus here, and then over in the back there, you can see uh, Nightcrawler. And I thought that was sort of cool. We got the new Nightcrawler figure from Marvel Legends here. And I really like this figure. I really like the sword that it comes with. I feel like that's a very nice addition. Uh, we got... Th 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 this looks like their first run in. I gotta say, I have not read this specific comic. But uh, that's what it looks like. Over here we got Colossus. Over here we got Juggernaut. We got their panels along the sides. Uh, if I can focus that up a little bit better. Uh, yeah, we got up here uh, Colossus kicking Juggernaut. Colossus right here. Uh, Colossus punching him. And then on the other side, we just got Juggernaut being crazy as ever. All right, now uh, let, let's just hop right into this box here. Got my scissors. Open up this side here. Whew. Real easy. One piece of tape. Very nice. Ooh, there we go. Is that in frame? That's in frame. Alright. So, right away, we can see that these things are pretty huge. Uh, here, let, me, let me just take the juggernaut out of the packaging real quick. Uh, ooh, I need the scissors for this guy. Pop on to the back here. Where, where is that? There it is. There's the little... There's the little guy that's stopping me from taking him out. Here we go. Nice, nice. Got another one of these. What's going on here? Alright, there we go. There we go. It appears that the packing things here, whatever you call these, these little tags that get stuck on there, uh, get caught in the, uh, they will get caught in the joints here, uh, but that's fine. Now right away we can see this is a huge figure, uh, on par with the Hulk figure we got a little bit ago, uh, over here I actually brought him out to show the scale difference. Uh, here, let me, let me just lay these out. You know what, I'll move this, we'll get up better view of this because this is actually insane. You, you really got to see the scale on these two figures here. Let's just pose him like that. Yeah. There we go. Alright, look at this. Look at these figures. Alright, over here you can see the Juggernaut. It looks about the same size as the Hulk, if not a little bit bigger due to the helmet. Uh, but that that's crazy because I remember when I was doing the review of the Hulk figure over here the, in the Hulk vs. Wolverine set, uh, I was very happy about the size because it was basically like getting your own build a figure without actually having to buy X amount of figures that you don't actually want. But with the Juggernaut here, it's even cooler because he has so many replaceable pieces. All right, This helmet here is replaceable. We can pop that off. You can see the head in there. Uh, and if we can take it out of the box real quick, we can see that the Juggernaut... Whew, let's get this out real quick. I'm real sorry. Um, we have one here, this head, all right? This is him without his helmet on. Uh, pretty nice. Kane Marco. No, that's not... Yeah. Uh, very nice sculpt. I actually really like this one. Uh, you can see all the detail in those eyes there, in the hair, e each individual strand. You can even see, if I can get that to focus up front here, there's one individual strand just sticking out, and that just looks amazing. Having something like that, even if the rest of the hair is all one mold, having one little hair sticking out like that really makes a difference in terms of detail. And then the other head that we have for Juggernaut here is this broken mask. And it looks like what you're supposed to do is, here if I can just put that over there, what you're supposed to do is take this head, 
because uh, there's no head in this mask, of course. Um, take this head, possibly put it in there. Uh, well, let's, let's just try to toss this on real quick. All right, so we got the head on pretty easily. Let's see if we can toss this mask on here. Ah, actually, no. It doesn't look like this is supposed to be attached there. It looks like it is just a replica or a, a, a piece that you can like have next to it. Uh, I guess sort of explaining why this head bust has that uh, black eye and why he's not wearing the helmet. This would be sitting next to him. Actually, that, that's pretty great detail. On this uh, helmet, you can see this whole side is blown off, right? And then that same exact side is where he's most damaged on this head sculpt. You can see the black eye there, uh, a little bit of what looks like scarring around it. That is really nice. Wait a second, even the eye, I, I would not be able to pick this up on camera. I am not able to do that. But I can see that even the eye on this side is red as opposed to this side, which is a pearl white. On this side, it is a reddish pink, like the, the around the iris. That is insane. That is insane detail. Uh, now, uh, both of these figures do come with swappable hands. Let me just pull out the juggernauts real quick. So, base, he's got two fists, which are pretty cool. I like them. I mean, he doesn't do a, he doesn't really need to do a whole lot of punching. He's just got to run at people, but it looks nice. Uh, then we have one hand here, which is a sort of clawing, uh, grabbing motion. Uh, and then on the other side here, we have a open hand which I think looks pretty nice. I think both of these are pretty good sculpts. Uh, again, as I've said in, in some previous videos here, you can see that this piece right here moves around. It's actually a separate piece. I love seeing that on all these figures. I love seeing when they, they don't just sculpt the whole thing in one mold. They will actually add different pieces to it, such as this. Uh, this, this is a bit of a lighter rubber. Uh, it will bend a little bit, but I, I just think that's a really nice thing, whenever they do that. Uh, now, we've taken a look at Juggernaut here. Uh, he was pretty epic, pretty awesome. And now let's move on to Colossus. Let's get him out of his package. Okay. Here we go. So, this right here. I mean, let me just pose him real quick. That would be nice if I could get this guy nice and posed. Let's go like... That may be a little too much weight in the front. Let's go like... Like that. Ah, Alright, whatever. So, on Colossus here, you can definitely see there is some great detail. Um, every single one of these uh, places where his plating uh, switches off to another piece is indented, not just painted on, which is nice. We got the belt here. Uh, again, that's movable along with these two wrist cuffs here. Uh, the boots, again, made of a different type of plastic. I always love seeing this along with uh, the shirt here on these sleevelets, I guess you would say, up here. They're very nice. Uh, for points of articulation on this guy, we got uh, in the knees here. Of course, we got a nice point there. There is one point connecting the uh, leg here, this part, I forget what that's called, to the knee, and the one connecting the knee to the thigh on both legs. Uh, and then the elbows here, it's just one joint connecting the forearm to the biceps here, and that's very nice. Uh, we got these hinges. The arms do not move up and down. They do rotate quite a bit, but they do not move. Or Yeah, they have a little bit of up-down motion, actually. A little bit, but it's just a little pop-out. Uh, the, they do rotate 360 degrees that way, and the arms do rotate uh, about 360 degrees around, although that bicep does get in the way a little bit. Uh, so this, this figure, I gotta say, it's very, very nice. I actually have the two of these, even though the Juggernaut is huge, and it, it is just a, a great figure, I gotta say, but this is probably my favorite out of the two, mainly because I was a big Colossus fan, but wow. 
just look at that. He he also has a set of replaceable hands. First, let's take a look at the ones that are already on there. Uh, if I can get that to focus there. All right, here. Let, let, let's just extend this out a little bit. If I can get the light good. You can see there is quite a bit of detail here. Uh, on each knuckle, uh, on the tendons coming back from his hand, on the fingers, you even have uh, what look like the impressions of uh, fingernails, which I guess I, I was going to say, maybe they should have painted them a different color. That always uh, adds to the detail, but he's chrome. It's all chrome. E everything's chrome, so that wouldn't even make sense. Uh, the hands, they're, they're, they're amazing. Here, give me one second here. I'm going to pull out his other hands. Ooh. We got one, we got two. These are both fists. If you can see there, there we go. That's nice. It's a nice camera angle. All right, so we got one fist, two fist. Uh, these are both equally as detailed as the other hands. I got to say they did a very nice job, especially on these little tendons here. I, that, that's what's really getting me. Here, let me, let me just make sure that focuses up. If you can see these tendons here coming around the knuckles, wrapping around the hand, they're so small and such a small detail, but it's there, and that is very nice. Uh, another thing that I like about this figure is so you're figuring about uh, posing him. See, you got these wrist cuffs here, and they cover up those hinges there. And these knee, uh, what are they called? Knee sleeves, knee, uh, I guess they're parts of the boots. Uh, they're covering up this hinge in the front. So when it comes down to it, it, it just looks a whole lot better because those hinges are covered up for the most part. Uh, most of these hinges are pretty well covered up. Uh, th this one, the midsection, covered up by the belt. Very nice belt, by the way. Again, different material. Uh, got the gold accents around the sides, gold trim. Uh, and then the red on the inside with the axe. That, that's very nice. Uh, but yeah, I just love that. It's a great figure for posing like that. Then, over here, we've got uh, the Juggernaut. Here, I'm just going to put them all side by side. Uh, we're, we're also going to take the Hulk figure. We're just going to toss him in here for a scale comparison. Uh, so it looks like, if you can see here, it looks as though Colossus is, of course, a bit smaller than the Hulk. That is to be expected. Colossus isn't a huge guy. I mean, he's huge compared to normal standards, but compared to the comic book standards, he's pretty small. He's like six foot something. Uh, but... Then we get over and we compare these two. We compare the Hulk with the Juggernaut, and oh my god. You can actually see on the Juggernaut, uh, I think his biceps are, I don't know if that's a good angle there here. Let's compare those two. I believe his biceps are a little bit larger than the Hulk, and that's, that, that makes him look pretty great, but one issue that I do have with him is when these muscles get so huge, the joints connecting everything just becomes so much more obvious like uh, right here you can really see that area the gap between uh, the elbow you know the bicep and the forearm here uh, it, it, it just gets a whole lot more obvious uh, same up here see the thing is when you get to a much larger scale it is much harder to cover that stuff up especially if you want a good range of movement on the Juggernaut here, I, I guess I didn't go over that. He's got some up-down motion in the arms, um, full 360 rotation down here, uh, the biceps. Uh, they, they move a little bit, it looks like. There, there's definitely a hinge there. Yeah, it's more of a click than anything. It's not really smooth movement. Uh, but yeah, there's not very much room for those... Uh, there's not really much room for those uh, elbows to move because... The bicep is so huge, it's really getting in the way there. Uh, if we come down to the wrist here, of course, you got some movement there, up, down, all around. Uh, we got 360 degree, eh, well, yeah, no, not 360 degree rotation on the leg. Uh, it's actually stopped because, again, muscles are too big. Uh, we come down to the knees, and again, it's that snapping. 
It's that snapping. It's not a smooth motion, which I guess wouldn't affect you too much, especially if you're just going to uh, be posing it. The snapping might actually be a little bit better. It, it firms him up. Uh, he's not going to be going anywhere. But then we, we get down here to the legs. We do not have any rotation uh, in the feet. We have a little bit of left-right movement. We have some definite up-down movement here and here. Left-right, up, down. And then, uh, yeah, that's about it for him. He does have some abdomen movement here. Goes back to about there. Goes forward to about there. And again, he doesn't have a belt on. So this right here, this little slot, it's very evident. He does rotate around 360 degrees. That's all right, uh, especially if you want to be posing him with his spine broken. Okay. Uh, now, I got to say, for what you're getting here, it's a pretty good deal. Both of these figures are fairly big. I got to say, the Colossus figure is just very detailed. Like, it is amazing. I would definitely get this kit. Uh, not kit, this collection box, I guess. Collection set of figures. Uh, you got this guy over here, you got Juggernaut. He's huge, you're getting your money's worth there. Uh, so but detailed, there's no more here possible way. He's just, I would not be able to recommend this set. The only thing that I think would be a little bit better is, I, I remember in the comics, there was this one time when Colossus here got Juggernaut's powers, and he was just huge. He was basically the Juggernaut, but Colossus, you know. Uh, the Juggernaut, but uh, Chrome, and it was amazing, and I always wanted a figure of that. I'm not sure if they've made one yet, but I feel like that is the uh, next step from here. That's the obvious next step they should take, uh, making that figure, because that would just be amazing, and yeah, I would just love that, uh, and that, 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 that's about it, everybody. Thanks for watching. I if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. If you would like to see more content like this, please subscribe. And if you'd like to purchase the action figures shown in this video, you can hit up our web store, FedUSAGaming.com. We'll leave a link in the description. Also, our eBay store or our Amazon store. Those will also be left in the description. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody, and I'll see you in the next one. FedUSAGaming. Feed your passion.